I've been working on a JMRI project for about a week now, so let me show you what I've been doing on this so far. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And now I'm in a position where I need some help. And I've been going on all the users' forums, CMRI, JMRI, Arduino, even on Facebook users group on Arduino for model railroaders and JMRI for model railroaders. And I haven't been able to get an answer on what I have been looking for. I'm going to come out to you and show you what I have so far. And this is what I've done. I have a nano test panel and you can see I have a turnout there and a sensor on there in JMRI. And you can see I have the turnout table, the sensor table, and the light table. Now let me bring up another screen here. So I'm going to show you what I'm working on. I have a push button. I have a Max 485. I have a Nano, I have a L298N motor driver, and I have a Torta switch machine. And as you can see, when I press on the push button right here, I get movement on the panel. I also get movement in the tables here, in the turnout table and in the sensor table and even in the light table everything works that way and here's another feature that i have added to it if i have a train coming down the tracks in the opposite direction of the way the turnout is thrown it will throw the turnout in the proper direction now what does that mean for me here I can't get this to work properly. See, I press on the turnout and the turnout does not turn. I do not have communication going back from JMRI through CMRI to the Arduino. I can do it here. There's no connection between here and here. But if I go here, button state active, I can get that to work. That works right there. But as far as this right here, coming back to the Arduino, I'm not getting any communication back that way, which is what I want because what I really want to do is, even though I can control it with push buttons, if I want to go up on my panel, and operate it from there i want to be able to operate it from right here and you can see it's not happening so i'm only getting one-way communication out of this and you can see the the leds right here they're also changing and those are controlled from right here Oop. do it this way and do it that way. This sensor table is controlling the LEDs. I also have the LEDs controlled by the turnout, but the turnout does not change the LEDs. Only the sensor table does. So that is my predicament. I've been working on this for let me see wednesday thursday friday saturday this is the fifth day that i've been working on this and like i said i've put out questions on all the users groups and i haven't got any help yet i mean i see a lot of questions being answered on other questions but i guess what i'm trying to do here nobody has ever done before i'm just wondering is this something that is feasible that anybody else would want to do let me bring up the sketch right here and it's a simple sketch 
I'm using the CMRI library. I'm using the 485 library where I'm using the DE pin as number two, the two LEDs on six and seven, the sensor on three. And this was a, a test that I was doing that's feedback one and feedback two that didn't seem to work. This is the two pins for the motor driver. And this is for the state change. Uh, this was another test that I was doing, FB value. Basically void setup right here. Motor drive, which is this procedure right down here that causes the motor to drive in one direction or the other, the tortoise to switch machine. Digital right for the LED and digital right for the LED2 is what comes back from CMRI to the Arduino. And this is where I want to do get this coming back. These two values right here, I was trying to get these to come back to change the state of the push button. I have a little bit more code to write, but I'm still trying. I'm still looking for the right way of doing it. This was one of the ways, this was one of the first ones that I did that didn't work. Uh, I've tried several different ways that I've removed it from here, but that's the position I'm in right now. I'm just waiting on a response. And if there's anybody out there in YouTube land that has had that issue or knows how to resolve that issue, let me know in the comments down there, okay? I got one response out of the Facebook users group told me to go over to the JMRI users group. I've been a member there since 2015, but I really never even posted on there because I never had an issue with anything until now. But uh, now I do, and I'm not getting any response out of anything. The JMRI users group, the CMRI users group, or the Arduini users group. I don't know why they call it Arduini, but that's what it is. If I ever get this project working correctly, I think this would be a great addition to anybody's model railroad using Arduino and JMRI. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So until the next time, we'll see ya.